what was behind this Wall Street sell-off that sparked the global market rout? Well, firstly, Wall Street was long overdue for a reality check. To put it in perspective, in a typical year, the stock market gains 8% on average. But from January 2017 to January 2018, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 26%. So then you might ask, well, are the markets just correcting themselves? A market correction is a reverse movement, usually a 10% drop from the prior market peak. Until Tuesday, Wall Street was down 8.5% from its peak. So it's not a market correction just yet. But perhaps the most important and relevant question here is, what has triggered the sell-off? How did it all begin? Well, it was actually because of good economic news in the US. Data on Friday showed that unemployment in the country is at a 17-year low, and it's also recorded the strongest wage growth since 2009. But keep in mind that Wall Street looks at things a bit differently. So when companies are paying their workers more, it usually means lower profits for shareholders. You combine this with the fact that there's a new Federal Reserve chair who has been untested and he's likely to raise rates at least three times this year, well, it gives you an insight into what might have been driving some of these fears. In terms of how long this global sell-off and volatility will last, well, that is anyone's guess. But the key here is that the underlying global economy, counter to the markets, is actually doing quite well.